Okay, so I've been busy doing some modeling. Uh, this is SolidWorks. And I modeled my press brake so I can essentially work on this thing on the computer. So I needed a way of making all of this work. I needed brackets and things like that. So I just quickly put together some brackets. And so this is one bracket. And I've made a smaller bracket that goes onto it. And then I've got everything slotted. So you see there's a slot here. Uh, and you can see there's slots here. So I'll have some wiggle room with my bracketry. Let me just hide that and get that out of the way. And then here's my other bracket here. And there's the slots. So my hope is that this is going to be able to, this is going to give me the ability to put my motors on here, the NEMA motors. So I literally took every component and modeled it. And some of these are just basic models. Obviously, that's not the actual thing. Um, but you get the idea. Um, I, I got all the, basically all the, the dimensions right in order to make it work. So that's just the blocks that goes on top of those. Like I said, really very rudimentary models, but enough to where I can figure out what my limits are and where I need to put some different things and stuff like that. So... There they are. Now I've got to figure out how to bend them. See, I've got the mirror over here. And because when I cut my ball screws, this one oops, on the right side is like an eighth of an inch longer or shorter than the other one. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. Um, but I ended up having to give myself a little more wiggle room in these slots here. So I made them big enough to where I can make it work with either side of the press brake. So you can see that this will move forward and backwards and left and right. And so now my next goal will be figuring out how to, this is just a basic bracket that I hadn't even finished yet, um, how to put my other motors here and here so i'll be able to use those um, for now in all reality once i mount a something on here i can manually move these left and right I, the biggest thing i'm trying to accomplish is to get this forward and backwards functional so um, you can see what i've got there and my different tooling that I've got to bend stuff. <clears throat> and here are the parts. So these are the flats. Everything's ready to be cut. Got a little bit of slag there, but not too terrible. I can knock that off pretty quickly, but heck yeah. I love the ability to be able to do this stuff. Now, being able to actually bend that, if I have the right tooling to bend it, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So, I don't have back gauges, obviously, so my intention is to use some Dicom or a Sharpie or something like that and scribe my bend lines in here. Um, and then once I do that, Good to go. Uh, another thing I'd consider doing is putting a Sharpie on this to where I can do one job and then come back and use a Sharpie to scribe the bend lines with the CNC. Uh, something along those lines, but a real fine one or something. Uh, honestly, this is just going to be a support, so if I'm a hundred thousandths in either direction off, it really isn't going to hurt anything. But you get the idea. So, I'm going to get to bending them. I can't do it with uh, my hands full. 
uh, and I've actually got to cut one more of those. I screwed up one of them. But uh, anyway, you guys have a good day.